Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. Um, let's see another word for it, doesn't seem to come forward. So before I jump in, this is episode number 489. Countdown continues. Um, and the episode today is it's not you, it is him, really. And I get this couple of topics that have been bugging me for a while, so we'll see where it goes. Before I get to that, let me introduce myself in case you don't know who I am. My name is Barry Selby, I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women find balance, attract and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day for the last year and several months, I do these Facebook live talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And this is number 489, and it is Facebook live, but I do put it on YouTube and podcast later, and I'll tell you those links afterwards. And so today's topic is actually inspired by a couple of friends of mine posting about dick pics. So we'll see where this goes. I have no plan or script, but we'll see what happens. So again, topic today, number 489 is, it's not you, it's him, really. And <laughs> I'm not, again, I don't have necessary answers. And I wanna, so I'm basically playing this out because I wanna see where it goes. As I've seen recently several women posting about guys who either go from being um, nice to belligerent in two words, or who send dick pics. And so I want to speak, if I can, a little bit to the fragile, macho, male ego. And psychologically messed up, because frankly, it's really frustrating. Because I'm watching these friends of mine, women I trust and respect, and there's one right there who knows about this stuff, that this is, um, it's almost ridiculous. I mean, whether it's the advent of social media or cell phone technology or whatever it is, for some reason, men seem to think it's okay to be belligerent, arrogant, and and flash dick pics. And does it just? I don't get it. I mean, well, I'm working on how I get it in terms of understanding it. But it's not. I mean, it's not in. It's not in my psychological makeup to do something like that. So I don't really get it that level. So um, some, for instance, is just to talk about the um, receiving side, and then we'll see if I can figure out the. Um, <laughs> the other side, the dinosaur side, as it were. So several, as I said before, several women I know, um, both online and in and on uh, in the phones, have had communications with men go totally down the tubes instantly. In one case, a friend was talking about how she had on her business page an auto, uh, what was the chatbot, that basically. Sorry, we, we, you're jumping right in, Eugene. Whoops, where did he go? There you go. I'm going to read what you said. So Barry, I'm not sure of the I'm not sure of the women are being fully honest because in my years I've never gotten a dick pic. So I think it's definitely a co-creation of something. The thing is that women are going to admit to that part, to their part in it. Well, let me see if I get there. So Gina, I'm, I'm going to play out where I'm where I'm seeing it right now because there's more than just the dick pics at, at play. Um, but I've got some. And I've got some of my own stuff brewing, so we'll see. <laughs> I'll feel it already picking up. So anyway, so a friend of mine was posting about, she has a chat bot, you know, there's automatic posts um, on her business page. And so she basically had an order response that goes out when somebody messages her on the through business page that says, hi, we'll get back to you shortly, stay tuned. This guy basically was saying hi to her and then her order response, auto responder type thing, you know, with the chat bot said hi to him and said, we'll get back to you. Happened twice. Third time he said, called her a bitch and chewed her out for being an arrogant um, something or other woman. Now this is a business page, first of all. This is an autoresponder, you know, a chat bot. And this guy's already throwing a fit because he didn't get what he wanted from her in the first two communications. Now, and I saw that, I saw, I actually saw the comment thread. So Gina, in response to you, I saw the comment thread. It was very clear what happened. And so that one was an example of this, um, arrogant macho ego so well yes they're definitely widows there for sure and that's the thing this is more than that there's an there's an aberrant an aberrance an aberration in in the culture where it seems okay still and maybe maybe because what's happening in the white house i'm not going to presume it's not because of the the fact there's a um model of demeaning behavior from the white house coming down to see the people after what happened yesterday yesterday was or yesterday today where he was, at a t it was yesterday, he was doing a, um, a rally and demeaning Dr. Ford's testimony. Now, whether or not it's fully accurate is one thing, but his way of talking about it was such a caricature of 
um, derision and and um, deme demeaning, it's it's disgusting for any man to do that. I'm not talking about. I mean, the fact that he's he's doing it. So it may be that's giving permission to other men thinking, well, if he can do, it, I can do it. I don't think it is, but it's possible. But I'm very aware that there's a there's a an uptick for sure for men that don't seem to think it's a they don't seem to understand that being nice to women to be polite to women to be respectful is a priority they are basically i mean i saw a couple of friends of mine showing pictures of guys pictures dicks they sent to them so i, I saw them so i and something I can't erase from my mind but the thing is it's almost like there's this belief for the men that send the dick pics in that particular arena where that's the one thing they think they've got a value which is really sad to know to think about it but they may have such an arrogance about the fact that that's all they need to get what they want now maybe they sleep with hookers all the time maybe that's all they need I don't know but this feeling of this um, debasement of themselves because they're sending the naked pictures they're not getting naked pictures of the girls I mean back like two years ago it was men asking women to send them pictures of their boobs and stuff. That was the big thing on, on Periscope, not on Periscope, that was always happening. So something something shifted, now it's mentioning it's sending dick pics to women. We have a very fucked up society at the moment, if that's what's happening as the way of dating. That, if that's the future of dating, we're in trouble. I don't think it's, and it's not, I know. But there are definitely some weirdos. But the thing is, I don't think it's weird as much. That's the thing, Jeannie, you said about there are a lot of weirdos out there. It's more than that. Because there are men out there who are so hardwired from saying hello to arrogance anger and um, rage there's something wrong in the culture and there definitely are some challenges I know I absolutely know that there are some there are some definite um, yeah Anthony I, I, yeah I think well I think there is going on see there definitely is a cultural challenge and and, and most of the women I know watching my broadcast and, and I know have dealt with some rank, some part of this where these men are uh, in responding or initiating so out of proportion with what's happening there's something dysfunctional it's it's out of whack there's something definitely that is out of alignment so I want to say this first of all for most of the women I know who are watching this because yeah there are some women I understand who are not particularly in um, how to say this healthy psychological shape but most women I know are and when that happens to them it ain't your it isn't about you it is about him absolutely but I don't have an answer necessarily, and I'm sort of still sitting so it's going to percolate because in my talks they usually are unscripted, and oftentimes things show up and download and come through that I didn't plan on, or that come through better than I could even think about. So I was hoping that maybe in this talk I might have a sudden solution, like I'm wishful thinking, fingers crossed, that some download is going to happen, some solution is going to happen, download where I'll see a way through so that we can somehow resolve this dick pic, arrogance, rage, male ego thing happening. Actually, there is one thing. <laughs> something was going to show up and I knew it was I've actually had a conversation recently about this and we've been talking as a philosophical viewpoint of the world as a general rule and I actually mentioned somebody on the weekend I was talking about this that as and it's going to sound a bit weird to say this so, let me, so bear with me as I say and explain as it gets to the back end we're in a place now where there is a shift happening on the planet to the like we didn't know that that shift is actually the elevation of um, frequency shall we say there's more and more light, as it were, pouring on the planet. People are becoming more kind, compassionate as a general rule. But what's happening because of that is that the, it's like as you put more light onto the planet, the darkness tends to come together in darker and darker spots. It's almost like concentrating toxins in the system. When there's more healing coming through, the toxins get pushed together before they get expelled, like a big zit. And I believe what's happening with the in uptick the increase in dick pics and arrogance not arrogance rage from men is because that personality trait is being concentrated before it is finally erased this may be wishful thinking I know but I'm saying this to, to say that it's possible just possible that what's happening both in the in the media and the politics and in everyday conversations that the men that don't get this yet as in the ones that aren't part of the solution but part of the problem are getting more and more rageful because they're scared shitless of what's coming. And I think if that's the case, good. Because what is coming, and I mentioned this a couple of days ago, yesterday, the day before, about the sea change that's coming, um, what's happened, what, from my viewpoint, what I'm seeing happening in the world is 
there's been an awakening, not so much an awakening as a, um, well, it's an awakening of sorts. Something's like, it's almost like a phoenix rising. There's such a shift happening, a cultural shift, a change happening, where more and more women are waking up to their truth and to their power and to their sisterhood. And I've been applauding the whole way through because I'm so in favor of this. And so a lot of the men who've held on to the old model of the paradigm, the patriarchal, misogynistic, controlling environment that most men were raised in, that are basically valuing, valuing, sorry, um, valuing and identifying their life on that, on that frequency, aren't, are really aware that frequency is getting overtaken by the feminine. So basically what's happening is that consciousness is going to drown. That sea change, the sea rising, that tidal wave or that tsunami of feminine leadership, the feminine power that has been denied for many, many centuries is coming up to take over. And it's going to scare the bejesus out of most of the men who don't get it. So in a way, I'm, I'm sort of looking for a solution, but also knowing I just need to sit back and watch. Thankfully, I got woken up about this about 12 years ago. Actually, more than that, but definitely more clearly about, actually, no, sorry, 11 years ago, 2007, where I really started to see that what was happening, that there's a shift coming. And what, I, what, I've been encouraged, what I'm very encouraged by is seeing how much of that change and transformation is coming now. I'm seeing it happen more prolifically. There's a more evident display of women in strength, women not backing down, women coming together in voice, women owning their power, but also women owning their love meaning they're in connection and compassion and support for each other. But what's happening with the children, with the, um, well, I'm not going to get into that because I was going to get into the whole thing about the immigrant children. That's another conversation. But there's enough of these um, breaking news items and bulletins and more fires getting lit up that are about things that aren't working. And we're hitting this point where things have to change. So, sorry, I see what you said, there, Anthony, in this re reset. Anais Nin, I'm not sure who that is, um, said that we have been poisoned by fairy tales. It seems that the body politic of men and women, and especially men, who are awakened and aware and are, oops, and are acting upon that awareness, are finally regurgita regurgitating and releasing that poison. You always feel worse when you're releasing that toxins before you're feeling better. It's happening in the collective consciousness. You know, you may be right. I mean, I'm talk I've said, definitely said that what's happening is we are, we are cleansing the system. We are cleansing the, the planet because there's so much that is um, happening right now that is part of the solution. But it isn't an easy road, I agree. And it is that sort of, um, it's like having the shakes when you're going through a detox. That's what kind of happening with some of the things happening. With those dick with, even with the, even the dick pics and the arrogance that, and the rage that men are expressing, it's part of, those, it's part of the shakes of the cultural shift. So maybe we are having a transformation on a societal level. And these aberrations of stupidity on men's parts, because I would call it that, it's not from a place of wisdom or intelligence, is part of that um, cleansing, part of that releasing. I would say to a degree, if you have men approach, with ladies, if you have men approach you like that, have empathy for them, but I would say that's probably not the thing to do right now. Best thing to do is have very clear boundaries and firm walls and to cut them off the best you can, then have empathy for them from a distance. The thing about this is you don't want to get involved. They're in their own death spiral energetically and until they're out of it, you don't want to get pulled into it. So ladies, I highly recommend that if you're approached from that level, you do what you can to cut it off, close it off, and make sure they can't reach you. So take care of yourself, because some of these men don't know boundaries, as is very clear. And boundaries is something that, huh, something, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. Um, I won't be doing my Facebook Live tomorrow at 5 p.m., because I'm doing a webinar tomorrow at 5 p.m. on Zoom. And I'm going to be talking about boundaries as part of my talk about the golden key for relationships. Um, that was a very nifty transition. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so just finish up this topic. There's going to be something about boundaries going on here because people are not learning how to honor them. And part of the shift is we're going to start having healthier boundaries. I believe that's coming. So as part of that little plug, I'm doing a webinar tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So I won't be doing my Facebook Live then. I'll probably do that earlier. If you want to be part of that, um, go to my website, which is barryselby.com. All my social media is my name, is my name as well. But barryselby.com, and it's uh, forward slash L... B H Love Boundaries Healing Webinar. 
we sign up for that. That's tomorrow. Um, it's it's it's. I haven't scripted it yet because it keeps evolving, so it's going to be fun. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Anthony. Yeah, it was a segue that happened. So um, to wrap this one up, this is something that I know is the beginning of something bigger. I'm only speaking to it now because I want to get some of the ideas out there. And uh, I'll see you later. Thank you. I appreciate you being in here as well. Yes, yeah, I saw that. By the way, I read it by the way, and they said it's boo the way. Yeah, got it. Um, if you have any thoughts about this topic, please put in the comments below. I'll, I'd love to hear from you to get some of your perspective on what you think might be causing it and what can happen. This is a big topic that's not just going to be handled in a 10 minute talk, but I hope it helps. Um, again, appreciate you being with me. Again, I won't be doing my, PM, my 5 p.m. broadcast tomorrow because I'm doing the webinar, which you again, you're free to join me. I'll put the link in the comments below afterwards. Um, that's only everybody. It's not just for women, although mostly be women attending, I think. Anyway, I'll do my Facebook Live probably earlier because I've, well, we'll see. Tomorrow, I, did, I will be doing my. I will be doing it tomorrow. I'm not sure when because tomorrow is going to be the webinar is the primary focus. But I am also committed to doing my daily broadcast anyway. So with that, I appreciate you watching. Um, I think that's it. This is a sticky topic. I know for some people it's very upsetting for ladies especially, and um, I hope it's been of at least some some counsel, some some comfort, and maybe some direction. Um, I will see you again tomorrow some way shape or form <laughs> and if you want to join at 5 p.m pacific time you can join me at the webinar or you see me on friday um but tomorrow is going to be a different schedule i don't I'll, I'll announce i will announce on facebook when i'm doing it try to rational get that clear out of my head okay i'm mumbling my words let me wrap up thanks for watching thanks for being with me facebook live is where i do this if you're watching on youtube you go to my youtube channel which is barry selby is the username and the playlist is messages from the masculine you can subscribe to my channel there also, you can find me on my podcast, which is also Messages from the Masculine, the playlist on um, all the podcasts on iTunes. You can subscribe to that and download as well. Um, my broadcast on Facebook, go to my business page, because that's the place where I don't have much else except these. So you can search through them there, but on my YouTube channel, it's easy to find stuff. So my business page on Facebook is author. I appreciate you being with me. I hope you get some value from this. I invite you to take care of yourself. And if you're dealing with this, um, I'm in your corner. With that, I'll see you again later. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.